Hi everybody, happy Friday. We're back with you this week to show you a really super simple way to make a wonky wire bracelet that's fit for a bride. No kidding, beautiful. Javi has figured out the way to do it and she does it festoon style. And the wiring style is very clean and neat, easy to figure out. So we're gonna have Javi step over here and show you how it's done. And then at the end, I have a new tool that I'm so excited about that I wanna show you that you can use with your memory wire bracelet. So come on over here, let's get right to it. Hello, guys. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> it's my little sidekick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make, um, what, what do we call it? The wire? Uh, it's, it's, it's like wonky wire, only it's simplified. It's like a festoon style. I can't example, really see I'll it on this. i get my fingers in there. Yeah. See how it goes like this and like swags? That's called festoon style. But Javi has a really great way of doing this. It's simplified. And it's, it's really, really pretty. You just need some jump rings, too. But she'll show you how she did it. Yeah, I'll show you how to do it. So then, uh, of course, we need a, a cuff. <laughs> a skinny cuff. Skinny, skinny cuff. Uh, the 20-gauge wire. Um, little beads. and yeah. So we can put up the yeah. end. I jump. Up. Yep. Jump Some rings. Pearls. And head pins. Okay. So I'm going to show you how much wire we need <laughs> a lot <laughs> so we need a, a lot of wire i think i don't remember how much you said for your class but um i think I you said it was, it was like pretty much like seven eight foot or something like that no not that no long. but not that long. did you i thought you said two but i might have been well, no you it can't be two it feet a whole yard long. yeah Maybe. that's what i was thinking yeah seven foot's kind of crazy huh <laughs> i don't know what i said we past. don't remember. That was in the past. <laughs> so just pull it. It's all a blur. So, <laughs> this is harder than I thought. Can't get this on camera. The wire's so long. So you just do a yard. How many is that? Three feet? Yes. Do three feet. Three feet. So you just get three feet of this. I'm trying to get this on camera. And then cut it. Right there. And I tried to straighten out the wire ahead of time, but hey, you can do that afterwards, I guess, <laughs> when you're on the... Do it as you go. Yeah, as you go. So then I'm going to show you how to make the little... Coil. The coil. I don't know, I, show, I don't know why I want to say spiral. Did you give a real good look at how that's made? Kind what of. What I'm talking I'm, about is fist you have it upside down. I know, but I have to put it on okay. because it's kind of, you can't tell when it's... Um, yeah. Ugh, I'm not getting this right. Like, it's festooned by, you see the jump rings over here, like connects little loops, makes little, yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, it's very right different here. than my random wonky Sorry. wire ones where, you know, I'm just coiling and looping wherever the wind blows me. This is very, you know, more precise, but it's, it's not a bit hard. Yeah. And that's why I thought, let's let Javi show it because she designed it this way. Okay, I gotta take it off. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it there in the picture. But all we have to do is make a little coil at the end. So make a little coil. Trying to keep this on camera, guys. Sorry. And then just just make that little coil. Hopefully the wire doesn't stab the camera. So I make it big enough for the, i trying to remember, yeah, for, okay. for the end of this. So that's pretty good, pretty decent. And I'm trying to remember how I did this. <laughs> so you might, sometimes a clamp would help to keep this in place if you're not, you know, like strong like me. <laughs> so you could use a, a little clamp and hold good it at idea. the end. I thought it was really nice because I, mm -hmm. it took me at first because you do this all by hand. It's kind of hard. Or you can make it and then slide it up into position. That's too, true. If that makes any sense. So then you just, you can hold it with your hand and all we have to do is bend it around. Just wrap. Yeah, wrap it around. Yeah, that's what I meant. 
so I'm trying to that's better for me to hold it <laughs> just wrap it you can always hold it with your pliers when it's real long it's a little fussier when yeah you, when it the length goes down it's easier to do it doesn't do that great when it's really long <laughs> but the more wire the better I say <laughs> Yeah, well, especially in this style, like when I do it, it doesn't matter if I run out because I can just Four put weeks. another piece of wire in there and make That's it work. That's true. But this is a more precise style. You can still do it on this one as well, of course. Mm. Okay. But this so. style is so elegant and it's fit for a bride. I really think it would make a really great bridal bracelet. Try to squish these up. <laughs> Trying to get that. I think I made like four around, so since it's all good yeah. to go. You got four. Yep, You're four. Good. That's how I started. I probably started the other way. See? I <laughs> just notice what I yeah. did. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, depending on if you're right or left handed. You may yeah, I'm right handed. I don't know why I started yeah. this way. Uh, it's, it'll, be all right. it'll be okay. Just flip it over. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. I, oh, it's this way. <laughs> I don't know which way this bracelet goes. It's confusing. I kind of sprung this on Javi. So don't mind, guys. She. Sorry. I, I was going to do it, and then I thought, you know, this is her design, and she's really good at getting it done with one piece of wire, and I thought it'd be better for her to do it. So she's like, okay. She didn't really have time to really go back and look at it again. Well, it's really not yeah. hard. So all you have to do is um, make this straight, as much as possible and try to go forward backwards or if you have a pliers you can do that too and this is a tricky part on making this little loop because you kind of have to make it like I'm, I like to make it perfect but that's just me just well, try to, have to be the same size yeah but the first loop won't be so rough because it's the first one you're making so everything you make after that has to match up yeah exactly and let's see how to do this yeah I made a tiny one at the end and you could always pull these. Some of us have, in the class, we, we started pulling. So try to get it, like, around there. You see how I bended it a little bit, a little bit back? And right here is when we start uh, looping it around. Without kinking the wire, too, because it happens. I'm trying to get this in frame. After you get the coil on and the first loop done, it gets easier squish it. You can always squish it like now that. get it as tight as you can and as close as you can. And I, I don't know if I did three or four. Three. Can't, I can't remember how many I did. Most of them are four. Honey. That's what I was mm -hmm. thinking. And you squish it. And you mend it. And then you squish that it again. Good. I squish it so many times. Okay. And then we get back to I'm trying to remember how I did this. That's why I was like. It's the same thing all the okay. way around. I think you have like. Um, okay, sorry. I'll tell you. I thought it, I think I had like three, kind of like four. Four, five, six, I had seven loops. Okay. But the the ones back toward the back by the coil are smaller. Okay. So but you wouldn't have to do it that way. It's just the way she did. Yeah, you don't. You can always do it crazy. It don't matter. Just if it looks good. Again, with this part, sorry, this wire is just like stabbing me. <laughs> it's because it's long. Oh, messed up. So, on like that. I say, if you can, if you can work off the spoil, off the spoil, off the spool, then good for you because it's, yeah. You know, but it just seems like for me, it would be clumsier. Mm, sort of it, it because that, it weighs a lot too. I'm thinking, mm -hmm. but all you have to do is just bend it, bend it. I need to get a little bit more bend. There he goes. Mm. Sorry, I like my loops perfect for some weird reason. <laughs> so I bend it back right there. Like that, yeah. It's not a perfect loop, but... It's okay. I think they basically get the idea. You know, yeah. these things, just you kind of have to them. mess around with them to get them just right, you know. The first one or two you make maybe won't be too good or like... You know, here's the thing about it. <clears throat> you won't lose any parts, maybe a little wire. If you do it and you say, you know, I'm not crazy about this, so cut it off. 
do That's it again. That's true. Do it again. I'm not have to worry about, oh, and I have to go get another uh, skinny bangle. I'm going to have to do this. Much. No, you don't. Just just cut the wire off and go for it again. The more you do it, the better you'll get at it. It's easy as that. Simple. And yeah. we do have the skinny cuff set Bisa Boutiques. Um, we don't have them in gold right now, but I do have them in silver. And I have them in rusted, rusted iron. And I think I have them brass ox too. Brass ox? I think so. I think we had like three colors. Might have them in gold right now, but I'll get some in. Don't worry. They're not your typical thing that you're going to find in a craft store. And I mean, these are made in the United States and they're made um, out of really, really heavy brass. But you can pinch them closed. So, you know, if That's you have true. a small wrist, don't worry about it because you can pinch it closed. Or if you have a larger wrist, you can just pull it apart. So it's going to fit anybody, which is cool too. So I'm stretching out the the wires. Just pull it to one side. See? Just like that. Mm -hmm. Just pull, pull. Pull until it looks like you think it's like, oh, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> and see, you made it at the end. So what will you do there, Javi, at the end? Will you cut it to make your coil? Um, Actually, I didn't cut it last time. I actually, um, what did I do for this one? It's on the opposite side. Get the memo. I mean, oh. cut your excess off. I, I didn't. Just um, I'm going to cut a little bit off, but not completely everything. Because I did mine completely different it looks like a, it would be a little bit harder but I just went where it would be at uh, the little end piece and I kind of wrapped it around mm -hmm. I you did mine that, I yeah. did mine differently yeah, try to be like too. oh okay try to be the best area see how I did that you can do it you can do it that way and then I went inside there and then I was like okay that looks good enough I'm gonna cut it right there so you could do it that way or another way, either way. Without, you just gotta tuck your no, without down, stabbing yeah. myself in the eye would be nice. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing about wire. You have to be careful when people yes. are standing around or even for yourself that you... Don't you know, hurt yourself. No, you don't want that in your eye. Your eyesight's very important. <laughs> That's how you make jewelry. <laughs> so That's how you made jewelry to you wreck yourself. Yeah, and then you just cut it, cut the end, the end piece uh -huh. off in there. And then just try to tuck it in there as best as possible. Like, yeah, see, you heard that click. <laughs> Prepping pliers sometimes help too. Oh we yeah. Don't have any down here, but see, and that's pretty much yeah, how you do. Okay. Let so me show you off close. I mean, how pretty is that? You can wear it like that if you wanted, but yeah, that's true. That's what I was. But what I want you to do next, have you show them how you put your briolette on them? You don't have briolettes now. This time you have no, I don't. Drops, but it's the same principle. Yeah. Deal with jump rings it's like a little awesome. crown. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Okay. So then the next step, we just get, um, you, you make yourself a little teardrop or, or if you have briolettes, that's great. Yeah. I'll and she know, has I'll a video up, up too on how to wrap a briolette. Yeah, I do. On the Beast of Teeks channel. And it's a very well loved video. A lot of people have watched it. I'm going to get a couple of jump rings. Do you have a jump ring tool? I don't. Oh no, never mind. I don't. So I don't think I can, can use one in here. <laughs> can't use it anyway. Yeah. I can't so. believe. You know what? Let me look because I think I don't. But there could be one hide. Yeah, I have one. Here's one. I've hard to believe I wouldn't <laughs> have one where to get her hands on it. Cause. Well, anyways, I need two pliers for this because it's in the awkward position. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is just make, um, put the jump rings on. I'm going to put a couple here. I'm going to show you. Depends how long, you know, apart you're... I'm going to put on there. Oops, sorry. How big of a dangle. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. So, like, these jump rings probably are perfect for so it. So, she, she puts them on one festoon and then on the festoon Others. next to it. Not on the same festoon. I hate that when that happens. Don't you? So annoying. That happens to everybody. Yeah, but I guess okay, so, it does. So show them real close up, Hobby, how yeah. you did that. It's not on the same festoon. It's on one festoon or swag next to the next one. Yeah. Put them right there. And then she's going to connect them. Yeah, going to connect them. It depends how far your thing is. You might need, like, two more, but, you know, one more would be perfect. But just depends on the 
how 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 far apart did you make your fest your little loops? Wherever I left so the you're other. You're gonna loop. connect one to the other. Yeah, this one's a little tough though. Uh, you know, I kind of had to force it. You kind of have to push them together. Yeah, I know. And you know what? That might be an argument to do uh, fewer wraps in between because if you get them there too you go. far apart, <laughs> yeah, you that's probably too far apart, maybe like three apart. wraps instead of yeah, four. Yeah. That's maybe, maybe that's what it. Maybe that was my. As you work it out, you know. Intent probably. This is the place where I'd be screwing up big time because that's my handshake. I much. can't do this one. This is a little tough. These jump rings are a little hard. Tell them I can't. Time. I can't really do it with the round the those pliers. Makes it difficult. There he goes. But that worked out okay. You know, if it's a little bit wonky for now, just remember when you go to close them yeah. on there, get your. But I know I brought them down here. Oh, here they are. They're right in front of you, honey. <laughs> I was using it, but I need another one, oh, like on the other one. side. A different. Oh, yeah. Two, you need two flat nose. Oh, okay. It's okay. All right, now this will be easy. You won't yeah. Worry about it. It's just does. It's just when you connect those two together. It's good to show you what can happen. You know, I've always. Well, said yeah. That. Why not? <laughs> I've always said that. You know, if you can't see. Okay, so you know you've got your one on each side, then your connector ready to go. See that? And all you have to do is connect it and right here. And just connect it right there, you like it's on the top or something. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So exactly like oh, that. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? I'm looking for things you could use for necklace necklace bars to do something. Yeah, like you could you could probably do that with a necklace. Or if there was one big enough to be like a dog collar stuff, mm -hmm. a nice long thin neck, you could do that on that too. It'd be pretty. Yeah, that's how you you do so that. That's pretty much how that goes, guys. So all she has to do to to finish that that bracelet up it's is just to put jumping. the rest of her jumps and yep, pretty stick much. her dangles on because I I made them ahead of time so she'd have them ready, and there you go you have a, a beautiful, beautiful beautiful piece. Are those glass bullets, Javi? Yeah, uh -huh. they're glass they're ones. Very pretty, purple of course. Violet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm girl. a purple girl. Well, okay, so I guess I'll come around and show you this new little tool I found. So here's memory wear. What I have, I'm going to cut this off. Ooh. Okay. You should really probably get memory wire cutters to do I think we carry them now. But anyway, so you have your memory wire. Now, as you guys have probably found out when you've done your memory wire braces, sometimes it's a little bit tough to get the end. Just how you like it, you know. So, I have these new pliers, and they're just for they're ex expressly for finishing off your memory wire. So, what you do, there's a number of ways you could do it, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to come down here and bend it like I normally do. See, it went over pretty good, and then I'm going to take it and put it around. So, you have this size, and you can make the loop small or this size and make it bigger. So I bet it big enough now that I can make a bigger loop. So you know, you just do it the way you like. And then I get on the end and I'm going to turn it. And of course then the first one I did was great and it was easy, but yes, this is coming out good. So I've, I've turned it around the other way. I first used this and then I turned it around the other way, this way to finish it. And now I have a nice loop that finishes off my bracelet. It's very secure. It's finished off good. Now, if you like your loop to be like coiled around, and you could take your flat nose and you can just do that if you want and just keep going. But it's going to be kind of hard, so I'm not going to do it here. It's going to be difficult. Maybe you will use this. This is the whole reason for having this is because it's easier this way. Let me just try something. No. It's going to resist me. So the best thing to do would be to take your flat nose like usual and, and turn it around more times if you want to. You don't have to. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more time. See, I did this one. I'm going to cut it off just so you can get that down because it's not hard. But here, I'm going to turn it over here and do it. These are my small. Whoops! Don't do that. It went flying. Don't do it that way. Okay, so another way you could do it is just take it. If you have the, the bigger side up, then that's the one that's going to make your loop. If you have the smaller side up, that's the size you're going to get with your second loop. And they're two millimeter and four millimeter. So this big one's a four millimeter. 
Okay, so in this case, I'm not going to bend it over. I'm just going to go from the end and show you there's two ways. So I'm just going to go from the end and do it and just turn it over on itself. Start it, get it going. Okay, so I got it going. This is definitely going to be a bigger loop. And then I go around, put the little one in to manipulate it a little. And here I go. I think it just makes it a little bit easier. I mean, you can still use your regular pliers. You don't have to have this tool, but I just like it ever since I got them in yesterday and I thought this is a bomb. And then I put on the Beast Boutique's creative group this morning and showed, hey, these are in stock and everybody was saying, oh, I have one of those and I love it. I can't be without it. And they're not expensive. So see, I got another one. Okay. That's how it goes. And they're not expensive. We have them at the website in the pliers section. They cost $9.95. And I like that they have this joint in here so they're kind of calibrated to your hand. As you can see, like your wolves have that too. The wolf pliers have that too. These are made by Beadsmith. We like their products. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. I'll show you more about it on Sunday if you come to the live session. At 4.30 p.m. EST every Sunday, unless we have to cancel for some reason, um, we're there. Give or take a few minutes, we're there. So uh, come and join us, why don't you? It's live, you can ask questions, and it's just we just have a great hangout time. So come on over. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We just hope to get better and better and better at this and showing you different techniques that you'll really enjoy using to make your jewelry. So have a great day, and go make some jewelry already. Bye. Bye. Thank you.